What's the most hauntingly beautiful song you've ever heard? Ab is slipping through my fingers. It's about a parent watching a daughter go off to school in the morning and feeling a sense of loss as a child grows up. Slipping through my fingers all the time. I try to capture every minute. The feeling in it. Slipping through my fingers all the time. Do I really see what's in her mind? Each time I think I'm close to knowing. She keeps on growing. Slipping through my fingers all the time. No Handlebars by Flowbots was added to this list during 2016-2022. I can hand out a million vaccinations. Or let them all die of exasperation. Have them all healed of their lacerations. Have them all killed by assassination. I can make anybody go to prison. Just because I don't like him. And I can do anything with no permission. I have it all under my command because. I think about those vaccines a lot. It truly feels like this song was a prophecy. Shine on you crazy diamond Pink Floyd. Song is written about Sid Barrett. Most of the Wish You Were album is about Sid and his mental decline. The lyrics are both sad and celebratory of a talent that could never reach its heights because of Sid's mental illness. Remember when you were young, you shone like the sun. Shine on you crazy diamond. Now there's a look in your eyes, like black holes in the sky. Shine on you crazy diamond. I was visiting Ireland from the US with my mom and I took her to Sunday services. A woman sang a cappella in a small stone church on the Dingle Peninsula. The verse was this is holy ground, this ground is holy and I forget the rest. It was like listening to an angel, like it was pure golden light. She was just a woman singing in a church for Sunday mass. I still remember, 20 years later, on Eagle's Wings by Michael Jonkis. It played as my granddad's coffin was carried out of the church and still gets me every time. Hauntingly beautiful song originally written for a friend whose father passed. How to save life the fray. Her Johnny Cash. Foggy do Sinead O'Connor. Seven Spanish Angels Willie Nelson Ray Charles. Clouds by Nevermind the Name. It's a gorgeous post-rock song and after 13 years still only has 100k views. It is a beautiful hidden gem. But I'll always respond too late to these threads to get anyone to listen to it. Please let me know if you listen to ITD. I'd come out beautiful but there's only one piece of music I've ever been moved to describe as haunting and it's that album that's meant to simulate the feeling of Alzheimer's. I forget what it's called that's not me making a memory loss joke, I actually forgot the name. Wake Up by Mad Season. Wayne Staley had the most beautiful voice and you could just hear the anguish as he sang. Also gotta throw in Maynard James Keenan in there. Melodic and emotional. Sleeping Beauty by A Perfect Circle has the same feel to me. Atmosphere Joy Division. Decades Joy Division. In a Lonely Place New Order. Somebody Depeche Mode. Haunted by Freak Mogwai. Dirge Death in Vegas. Listen Loud and Alone. All of the above will touch you beyond your core and your soul. Gorto Zarand and Del Prejo on the South Park I Can Fix You song. Pink Floyd Shine on You Crazy Diamond. Interstellar Live Orchestra with Hans Zimmer. Adagio in D minor John Murphy Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen Under My Arrest by Fossil Collective And this may be silly, but disturbed sound of silence usually stops me in my tracks The main score from Schindler's List John Williams really knows how to wake up the emotions in those who watch films he's scored Most of his scores are hauntingly beautiful I know it's over by the Smiths Kathy's Song in America by Simon Garfunkel the pain of the latter's lyric I'm empty and aching and I don't know why, just wow. Minerva Deftones. First heard it while in the Bonneville Salt Flats while the sun was setting it was such a vast sound in a vast location. I was in awe. It's a Japanese song. Sprinter by Akalafina. Till this day I cannot perceive it as a song. It's the closest thing to a blessing bestowed upon me from the heavens. Lugia's theme from Pokemon the movie 2000. Starts with Flute Ocarina with the orchestra gradually joining in to build to one pretty epic soaring theme. Gonna wait for a rainy night to light some candles and sit in my armchair with some wine, and listen to all of these songs in a row. It's gonna be a vibe. This Mortal Coil song to the siren. Jane's song French. Fade into you Mazzy Star. Actually, there are a couple of songs by Mazzy Star that can fit. Hope Sandoval's voice is beautiful and haunting to me. I've used this same answer in a similar thread, but Constantine's something corporate. Maybe it was a time in my life when I first heard it. Cheers in Heaven Eric Clapton. The story behind it is so sad but the song is so beautiful. Definitely hits different now that I'm a father. Lacrimosa by Mozart. I'm surprised no one has mentioned it. The meaning behind it is quite haunting.
but the song sounds very ethereal. Fade into you Mazzy star. Maps yeah yeah yes. Mariner's apartment complex Lana Del Rey. See it breathe me. Sour times Portis head. Once you have watched and listened to Roberta Flack singing the first time ever I saw your face, that will do for a lifetime. The theme music in the movie Arrival, it's played a lot in the movie, and it's so haunting pulls at the heartstrings for sure. Oh also Tom Waits day after tomorrow how does God shows which prayers he refuses? About a soldier in the trenches. Never let me go Florence the machine, pretty much all of her songs from ceremonials. I will stand that album until I die. Who knows where the time goes by Fairport Convention. Nine Inch Nails Leaving Hope. The most devastating piece of music I've had the pleasure of being destroyed by. Just been talking about this with my dad. Field of Gold by Eva Cassidy. Her voice was mesmerizingly beautiful. The Foggy Do. An old Irish song about the Easter Rising of 1916. Makes me cry every time I listen to it. The choral version of Adagio for Strings. On your stay, Judy Garland's 1955 Over the Rainbow, It Just Hurts. Surprisingly nobody said Mad World by Gary Jules. I'd say Neutral Milk Hotel Airplane Over the Sea, Queen of the Night Aria. It's terrifying what a mother can force their child to do just for revenge. Into My Arms, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Oh boy, that song is a haunting in every way possible. Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey. First heard it on The Great Gatsby and fell in love with it. Every time I hear what was I made for I cry ugly tears. I don't quite know why. Every time. Lick My Love Pump Spinal Tap. Part of a musical trilogy in D minor. The Saddest of All Keys. Other Side by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mad World by Gary Jules. Box of Rain by Grateful Dead. There are many, but Suzanne by Leonard Cohen it's absolutely gorgeous gives me goosebumps. Twilight Elliott Smith. Actually most of the songs make me cry. Such a fucking gifted soul. Lux Aramquay composed by Eric Whitaker. Pulls apart Pink Floyd. The Night We Met Lord Huron. Fields of Gold Sting. Ave Maria. Nearly any rendition, but honestly I love Aaron Neville's the most. California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. Sia's version isn't bad either. And excess never tear us apart. It has so much in it, and such a vibe, love it. Be the Oven's Ninth Symphony in E Minor. It's the score of a clockwork orange. Nights in white satin moody blues pyramid song in nude radio head. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald is my pick. Ethereal and beautiful. Nothing compares to you, by Sinead O'Connor may she rest in peace. EA by Tori Amos. She is one of the most beautiful voices ever. The Urge for Going by Tom Rush written for him by Joni Mitchell. Hurt, Trin Reasoner's live performance. Damn bro. It hits home. The Hanging Tree, The Hunger Games, Adriana Figueroa version. Debussy's Claire de Lune. It makes me teary eyed every time. Has nobody said The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald yet? Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen to be hauntingly beautiful. Ghost Love Score by Nightwish. When Tarius sings it, the first time ever I saw your face, Roberta Flack. I've got it bad, and that ain't good, Nina Simone. 